Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ashok from TechieB and today I'm back with a new ROM review for MI A1. So in this video, we'll be reviewing Flyme OS, which is based on Android 7.1.2, going to About Phone. Here you can see these are the software information. Do not go with the device name as it's a different device name over here. Android version is 7.1.2 with a security patch of 1st October 2017 and the Flyme version is 6.8.3. In this ROM you don't have to flash play store separately, it comes inside the ROM itself. So at the end of video I'll show you how to install this ROM. This will be the first look of your ROM. It looks similar to MIUI ROMs. You don't get an app drawer, you just swipe towards your right or left to access all the application what you have installed. So if you guys are looking for something different on your device, then you can install this ROM. As you can see this is the quick setting panel which looks totally different from this stock ROM. Long pressing home screen will give you a few options to arrange the icons. You can add widgets on the home screen and if you want you can also change the wallpaper from here. Talking about camera, camera works fine. There are no issues in that. Single X and double X zoom are working fine. Picture quality is also great. You can also record videos in 4K. Services like Volt as you can see the HD symbol towards your left hand side on the status bar, fingerprint scanner and GPS are working fine. Now going inside the settings, here you have all the basic options like SIM card in which you can choose the network, you can enable Volt services, data roaming and APN services. Wi-Fi is working fine, portable hotspot is also working fine, talking about Bluetooth, Bluetooth has no issues till now. Under notification and status bar, you get many options like display notifications, wake up notification when you receive any notification, display network speed which is also available on the status bar and display battery percentage. Sound and vibration gives you basic options, then you have do not disturb in which you can schedule the do not disturb timing if you want or else you can completely disable it. Then you have personalization under which you have fly me style icons, fly me style avatar for your contacts, bold style font, then here you get three themes pre-installed which is classic, gentleman and lady theme. You have wallpapers, two wallpapers pre-installed, trust you can get it from the online store. And the last one is font, here you can change the font, by default only one font is available, you can download rest other from the online store. You also have easy mode available on this, if you want to enable it, you'll get basic options on the home screen to access your device. Display and brightness, there are no issues, brightness works fine. Fingerprint and security as I have already shown, fingerprint is working fine. And here you can also log the application. So if you want any apps to be logged, just use your default password and select any of the application which you want to log. Battery gives you few options like battery manager or security. If you choose battery manager, here you can Use super save mode which will help you in saving battery when your battery percentage is low and increase the screen on time. After that you have few accounts options in which major account, other accounts, local services, storage and backup. Then you have language and time, apps, accessibility which consist of basic options. So not much of customization options available on this ROM but you can use it as a daily driver. I'll be updating the battery backup very soon. By evening I'll update the battery backup. And here you have few applications like toolbox, pedometer, recorder, under toolbox you have flashlight, mirror, compass, level, magnifier, random and decibel. So all the sensors are working fine on this room. I have personally tested and there are no issues on this room. You can use it as a daily driver but I faced issues like running Geekbench application. Once you run this application after it goes to 100%. While uploading the results, the application gets crashed. So I won't be able to show you the Geekbench results. I'm talking about Antutu Bench application. Under this, I was able to get the benchmark results, which are 75,206, which is pretty low compared to this stock ROM. So guys, these were the things available on this ROM. And now, talking about the installation process. For this, you should have TWRP recovery. If you have TWRP recovery, then just power off your device. Once the device is powered off, hold volume up and power key together. And once the screen lights up, release the buttons. Once the device boots into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, advanced wipe, select everything from here excluding internal storage. Swipe to wipe. 
and also make sure guys to take a backup of your device if you are not taking a backup then you may lose your internal storage after that go to install select the file this will take somewhere around 5 to 7 minutes once the installation process is completed then go back go to reboot and reboot your recovery after your device again boots to twrp recovery then go to wipe and here you need to format data so this will delete your entire internal storage type yes over here and hit this tick mark once you are done then just hit reboot system and your device should boot up within four to five minutes so guys these were the things and this way you can install this rom on your mi a1 and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day